Hello guys, this is a collection of my cassettes. Hi Ronan. This is my cat, Ronan. Hi buddy. He's eight years old. And here's Roderick. Hi. They're both sleeping on the bed here. I will come up. They're Roddy not Roddy. Roderick is six months old. But here's my cassette collection, so yeah, here's my crate here. And this TDK I got at a thrift store in Carbondale, Illinois. Because I got a five pack of these. And I used four of them. I got five of these sealed. And I used four of them for Christmas music. These ones here. And then the ones back there. Oh. There we go. And I do have some cassette singles in here. There we go. This one's kind of cool. This cassette is... What is this one? This one is a home recorded one. Looks like it's blank. Or maybe I never labeled it. Never mind, I did label it. This is my trains cassette about trains. Oh god, this gonna be so cringe. Alright, it's on tape. This is my Sony boombox I use mainly to play these. Let's see. Because I recorded several on here. I just kind of want to show you this. I recorded this on here. Big Boy, the F. What's that? The F. Mm. Mm. Alright. And F. F E 2. F 3. God, this is so cringe. And this was recorded back uh, two, uh, several years ago. Like 2021, 2022 on my Tyler shoebox player. Which sadly broke on me because every time for some reason now, like something to do with the belts, like the belt slipped or something. Because now every time I try to play a cassette on this thing, it doesn't work. Let me show you. But here is it that I recorded on and I used the external speaker. I'm pretty sure it's recording. It does terrible recordings. So yeah. But listen to this while I show you. Yeah, that's crazy. 70s music. This one is just 70s music. Okay, we don't need to torture ourselves with that, shall we? We don't need to torture ourselves with that. Mind me. Get you the 70s cassette. We're going to listen to that one. Another homemade one I made. Because I like these. I buy these Max Cell ones. Or I usually buy these online. Like in a big pack. Usually like 7 pack or 5 pack or something. But yeah. And that's how I record my homemade recordings on too. See, I recorded several different things. This is another Max Cell. And I like the 90 minute ones. Some I uh, recorded are 60 minute with these Christmas ones, which are TDK. This is 70s music, if it can focus. 70s music. This was recorded again two years ago on a radio station because they usually play 80s music. But 
On Sunday mornings, they play 70s stuff. And locations only. Prizes may vary. Tax extra. I know I left in the ads. If you're having leg pain, swelling, yeah, we'll just listen to that. Here's another one. That one's weird. This is Jackson 5, actually. Jackson 5 Greatest Hits. I didn't even know I had this. See, because most of these I got at yard sales. Turn this down. But most of these are recorded. I mean, not recorded. I got at yard sales. So I don't know what they are. But, um... I'm actually going to keep that one out with my other ones. And yes, I do have Michael Jackson bad. This one, some of my cassettes I got at Plaza Records in Carmdale, Illinois. If you're in that area, check them out. I'm giving a shout out to them. They have new and used cassettes, records, CDs. They even have some used 8-tracks they get in every once in a while. They even have, also, they have video, DVD, and VHS too. But I'm pretty sure VHS they stopped do continue stop continuing. Let me play that. Bad. It's probably gonna get copyrighted, but I don't care. No, let's leave that out. But yeah, this from 1987, and I also have Michael Jackson Thriller. I, again, I got from Plaza Records. Check them out. I actually have two copies of Thriller. Alright, let's just do that while we're checking this out. Michael Jackson. Bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. Mm. Okay, sorry for being cringe. Um. Yeah, we, we looked at that. Oh, yeah, Michael Set Single. To be honest, I got this out of Yard Sale along with a bunch of other tapes. Because. Oh, yeah, this was a steal one time, but one time a city around me was doing a citywide yard sale. And this was a steal I wore the yard sales. I ended up finding two cassette holders full of like cassettes, mainly from the 80s and stuff. And I still have those holders, and I got a bunch of cassettes. It's only like two, three dollars. Let's see if this ever focuses. This is and rhymes cassette single. That's why there's not much tape in it. Put this back in. I don't understand still. Why in the world does cassette singles go in the cardboard? Let me see this. What program are we on? Man in the moon. Alright. Patsy Klein. This is empty. Isn't this? This is empty. I got cheated on this. Yep, empty. And some of these, very few of these, only like five. I got at uh, my local library. Because they could set some back. I'm like, hey, can I just take these? They're like, sure. This was not one of them. This is Charles M. Galloway talking about random stuff. I'm just kidding. But it's a cassette and never so one of the ones I got from my local library was an oldies tape that was just 60s music someone more was still recorded but how did it get up the, to the library is my question again the magic of ABBA I forgot I had this I have a lot of good stuff in this classic rock this is another volume I recorded classic rock I recorded four of these, one with my 80s music one. There's, what is this? Yeah, this I just use as a test tape, so. That we already looked at. Excuse me? I didn't notice I had this, I like this. Let's play it. You know what, we can rewind. Take bad out. 
Michael Jackie. Mm. All, right. All right, let's take this out. Whoa, dusty. Mm. Hold on, Sweeney. I have the eight track of um, I have the eight track of hooked on classics. Yeah, that's what that one is. Program one. Rewind. Oh, let's see here. Oh, play. Mm. There we go. But this, what is the first song? Hooked on swing. That one's a good song. I think I heard that one. I think I have heard this one. Yeah, this one's kind of a... Let's turn it up. This is um another one God bless record Zico as you can tell because they have a section that's like all like their stuff like this why that plaza records or else like one where it's like um a local band um where local bands from our area the southern Illinois area do those and this was like a comedy sketch thing. We're playing music. I just saw it. I'm like, purple cassette. I have to have it. One of the first cassettes I've ever gotten. My me. What? Okay, that's weird. Um, I thought I clicked something on accident. Um, B. Side B. I don't know if we were on A or B. Let's put in A. A, a label, labeled it. So A. Okay, let's. Oh my gosh. Let's try B. There's B right there. And it's pretty good player. Yep. And what they did though was that. Because they have people perform at Plaza Records every once in a while. What they do is that sometimes, I guess, what they did on this occasion, they ended up taping it. I know you can find some of them on YouTube they uploaded. That one's kind of interesting, though. Footloose, I have the Footloose soundtrack. There's one of them I got in that big thing of tapes at that one yard sale we told you about. Oh yeah, this is Michael Jackson bad. This is the same cassette that I had bad in. Um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, let's play some hooked on swing here. Yep, side one. Wait, let's go. Michael Jackson bad. There. <laughs> Oh, yes. This is another pretty good one. I have no idea what's on this. Mom, what the? Mom, what? This kind of gives me vibes of the Guard Galaxy mixtapes, where, where, the mom gave him the tape. Where, where the mom gave him a cassette tape of uh, of her favorite music. It's not giving me vibes. Why does it say mom on it though? Mom! <laughs> God, don't want that to fall off. Shove that over there. I'm curious, is this chrome tape? Because it sure looks like it from the window. This is another TDK, by the way. Oh my god, this does look like chrome tape. Oh my gosh. Is this chrome tape or just a really dark type one? I think it's just a really dark type one tape because chromes are almost pitch black. Not like this. Oh, you yeah, over there. You know what? Let's play it. Mm -hmm. Bob! Side A. Here we go. Here we go. There. Oh god, that's Alright. Best of what? Best of 
Beverly Brothers? I thought it said Beverly Brothers. Like, what the? Hey, this has a cassette no one labeled. That they have, it's, it has stuff on it. Yeah, this is another cassette I think I remember getting. This one I like because it's that color. I never listened to that one. Here's one of the Christmas ones I got a yard sale. Yeah, I have no idea what that tape is. Oh yeah, back to the 60s compilation. I kind of want to get more compilation tapes. Volume 3 even. <laughs> Ow, I pinched my finger while doing it. What is this? Ja Jaguar's Jewel? Is that what that says? Excuse me? Excuse me? Are you serious right now? Oh yeah, I did remember recording this. I recorded... God, this is so cringe. Back in third grade, I read these books, A to Z Mysteries, and like two of them I ended up taping on cassette. I'm pretty sure this is one of them. Another one is like, Goose is Gold, that one's called... And they, they were really interesting. They were really fun, actually. Good books. Oh my god, I've been looking for this darn cassette for ages. This is my Bluetooth one. I didn't know where this went. <laughs> yeah, let's try this. Um, Let's see if it has any charge left to it. I'll put that back there where it goes. Uh, Bluetooth. Pressure that's on. Looks like it's dead. It's not showing anything. It looks like it's dead. Because I got this. Yeah, this is my Bluetooth cassette. You know what? Did you see that Patsy Coin one from earlier? What I'm going to do is. Where's that Patsy Coin one? I was trying to find that Patsy coin one. I'll find out later. Journey. Here's Journey. Departure. Um. Alabama. Grace. Well, I'll use the case from this to put my Bluetooth one in. Because I never knew what happened to my Bluetooth one. I bought it at Walmart. And then I never I used it like two times. And I never found it. All, after all these years, I found it. At the bottom of my cassette bin. There. Now it's in a proper case. To be honest, I don't really care about Alabama, so that's why I just threw that one out of there because I don't really care. So these are in the bottom, just empty. Christmas Festival. Medina. This is empty. This is another one I got at Plaza Records. Like a. Oh, you fill the blank in for me, like a blank. Okay, mm, okay, I'm not gonna say that word. Okay, whatever that is. <laughs> Most of these I don't know, because again, I got them. Pure gold, what, is, what do they mean by pure gold? What? Volume 12, pure gold. What? What? Ooh. Oh yeah, this is purple rain. I got this. I forgot I got Purple Rain on cassette. Purple Rain! Purple Rain! This is another one I already showed you. Put that there. That's Journey I showed you. This is a Christmas one, but look at that. That's so weird. It covers the cassette. Um... I, it doesn't want to focus. Great romantic memories, the warriors. Yeah, I got that at the wiper. I have no idea what that is. Again, I have no idea what in the world this is. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Alabama Grace, since I showed you that. Look at this dusty. Oh my god, there's a Hershey's wrapper down here. Wing Rhymes Blue. K 
Okay. Sorry, this is too long. Ween rhymes, another ween rhymes. And there that goes. Alabama Mountain Music. Mmm, what a display cover. What the? If I can open it. Mmm, what a display cover. Yeah. Not talking about that. The Elvis tape. Mm -hmm. I disrespected the Elvis tape. Best of ZD. Mm -hmm. ZZ Top. Yeah, I don't really like him, but. Probably got him in a crate with a bunch of other stuff from yard sales. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. Uh, yeah, not that either. Or what is this? 80s music. Let's go. Oh, it's to some 80s music. Here you go. This is probably going to be so copyrighted. Oh, yeah. This is the one I recorded far away. I'm going to charge up this Bluetooth. So. Yeah. And sorry about those cringe 80s music, but I like this stuff. And that's why I collect cassettes, maybe. Because of the format. CDs are boring to me. Like, holding holding the cassettes unique. Because it's not just a thin piece. It's like an actual thing that has tape in it. Put that back in there. There we go. Mm -hmm. And I have a few over here. This one I should. Jackson 5. This was one of the first I got at Plaza Records when I first started getting into this hobby. Country Outlaws. Which is basically the best of country. <laughs> this case is getting pretty beaten up. But this cassette has a good... Some good stuff on it. That has some good stuff on it. Let me show you. This has some good stuff on it. Good country music from like the 60s or 70s. Yep, see? Yeah, the cassettes and better days with you. Retro Quiet Orchestra. EOO's greatest hits. I really like them. And they're t my two faves are on here. Turn to Stone and Mr. Blue Scott. Come back here. Thank you. Yeah, that, that sounds kind of cringy. Uh, yeah, we'll just, you know, skip that. Yeah, we'll just skip that. Side so one. Let's play this. I feel adventurous. Let's play a bunch of cassettes. Oh, yes, this is Middle Medieval Woman. Pretty decent one, too. Woman! Okay, I'm, jam I'm gonna jam to this. So, I couldn't find the oldies tape. That tape was kind of cool, actually. And there's another one I know I have somewhere around this house. Christmas cassette. It's red. The only red cassette I've ever seen in my favorite color is red and that just popped up. Let's put it. There we go. Country Outlaws. Oh yeah. And on here I have the very best Elvis. Yes I taped I taped all my cassettes on the um I mean my it, oh my god. I taped my CDs to cassette. I don't know why Okay, that's good song. So, and I might start jamming to that when I'm off this. But this is a cool one. Train Ride, Ma Nature's Music from 1988. And all it is is train, a steam train to be exact. Let's play it. There we go. There we go. It's Huffy Moon Puffy. Um, yeah, that was it. From my video. And yeah. As this tape go on. It gets faster and faster. But that's. That's that. So. Um. Yeah. That was um. My.
cassette collection. Um, and I'm going to be jamming to some ELO. So, bye, guys.